Each year when my fourth graders study the founding of our country and the founding fathers, we do a Ben Franklin science lab. Everyone knows that Ben Franklin did some work with electricity, but he also invented the bifocal lens, an odometer to measure travel for the post office, of which he was the first postmaster, and an instrument called the glass harmonica. He also invented the lightning rod, the Franklin stove, and a library chair upon which this design is based. So let's start with electricity. We sprinkled salt on black paper and paper chips as well. Then take a wool sock or an old wool sweater you've cut up and rub pieces of PVC pipe with the wool. As you can see, the salt and the paper chips are attracted to the rod which has now been charged. You can also do the same thing with balloons rubbed on your hair. And we especially like the sound that the salt makes when it's attracted to the balloon. Ready and go! As the first postmaster, Ben Franklin invented an odometer to keep up with how far his wagons were traveling to deliver the mail. So I borrow a trundle wheel from the PE teacher that he uses to measure the field. This is a great time to talk about radius and circumference, and I proved that the circumference of this wheel is one meter by rolling it along a meter stick. Then I let the students measure things in the hallway using the trundle wheel. Now let's look at the glass harmonica, an instrument invented by Ben Franklin. It works on the same principle as rubbing the edge of a wine glass with your finger when it's wet. He made different notes by making bowls of different sizes and thicknesses, I believe. So I allow my students to put different amounts of water into wine glasses and try to make sounds with them. It's also a great lesson on pitch. That's so cool. This is my favorite YouTube video showing someone playing the instrument that Franklin invented. Franklin invented the bifocal lens, and so I have had people donate bifocals, usually broken, but at least one side works. And then we can talk about lenses by using magnifying glasses to turn images upside down, etc. It's a great introduction into the talk about lenses and light. We can talk about engineering and invention by looking at the library chair that Franklin invented. He turned an ordinary sitting chair into a ladder so that he could reach books on higher shelves in the library. This is not the exact design, but it, this one is a replica based on his design. I was lucky enough to find one at a yard sale, shown here. My students really enjoy trying to figure out how to open it. This is the Franklin stove. It was more efficient than other stoves at the time, because the warm air was allowed to move through the stove longer, therefore radiating more heat into the room before it exited through the chimney. This is a great time to talk about radiation with students. Even after light bulbs are turned off, you can feel heat radiating from them. And I have read that the Franklin stove radiated heat long after the fire went out. This is a good website that I found that shows some of the inventions of Ben Franklin. It also talks about experiments he did with ocean currents and temperatures as he crossed the Atlantic. Our school divides the year into separate science units and social studies units. One thing I really like about this Ben Franklin lab is that I am able to teach science concepts during a social studies unit. Also, the students really enjoy the experiments that we do as part of this lab. Ben Franklin was a fascinating guy. He was a statesman, he was a scientist, he was curious, he was an inventor, and an engineer. And these are all qualities that I want my students to see in this figure in American history. I hope that you found some useful activities in this video, 
and please check out my YouTube channel for videos on other hands-on science topics for elementary and middle school students. Thanks!